Welcome to this Autodesk Inventor tech tip on using full-scale images in Inventor. My name is Rusty Belcher and I'll be going through this tech tip with you today. Many 3D projects start off with a single picture or digital image. These images are often inserted into the CAD program and used as the initial 2D design for the eventual 3D model. A common problem is encountered when trying to build a 3D model from a 2D image. It's very difficult or impossible to adjust the size of the image to full scale. In this tech tip, I'll demonstrate the process of adjusting the size of a digital image to full scale using Autodesk Inventor. It is important to note before we start this process that you can never truly make a picture or digital image full scale. It is possible to get the image close to full scale, but 100% accuracy is not possible. The accuracy of this process is based on the quality and resolution of the image being used. Higher quality and higher image resolution will increase the level of accuracy. The process starts in an Inventor sketch. I have my Inventor application open and I'm working on the first sketch in my part. I'll use the image command to select and insert the desired digital image. You can link the image to the part file, but in this case I'll clear this default option and embed the image. We'll center the image at the origin and make sure the image remains horizontal by applying geometric constraints to the image edges. We need to create a parameter that will allow us to modify the scale of the digital image. In the parameter dialog, I will create a user parameter called scale. We'll set the unit of this parameter to unitless and the initial equation value to 1. This parameter will be used each time we place a dimension on the image. We can adjust the size of an image in Inventor by applying dimensions to the edges of the image. We can also add geometry to represent the size of a scalable object in the image. In this example, the rear tire of the bike is known to be 20 inches in diameter. We'll add a string of lines from the corner of the image to the base of the tire. Then we'll add a line that represents the tire diameter. We cannot snap to the image, so we'll zoom in and try to make the best manual placement possible, remembering that these picks will affect the overall accuracy of the model. Now we need to add the dimensions to the geometry. We'll start by dimensioning one edge of the image. We'll leave the initial value alone, but we will modify the overall value, adding an equation that multiplies the initial value by the scale parameter. Because the current value of the scale parameter is set to 1, there will be no change to the initial size of the image. The process is repeated for each line we created to define the scalable object in the image. In each case, the initial value of the dimension is multiplied by the scale parameter. Now for the math. At this point, we focus on the dimension that defines the scalable object. We know the current size displayed by the dimension, and we know the desired size. We can calculate the scale factor by dividing the desired size by the displayed size. Once we know the necessary scale factor, we can replace the current scale parameter value with the new scale factor value. As we exit the parameter dialog, the image and all supporting geometry is adjusted to suit the new scale value. Now our image is as close to full scale as possible. Now that we have a full scale image, we can save the component and use it as a base part in a new assembly. We can create new components using the image part as a basic sketch plane. We can also trace the image to create the necessary sketch geometry for the 3D model. As we sketch, it is important to use real world dimensions and not rely too heavily on the graphics. The graphic is used as a guide, but the real world dimensions will be used to ensure the accuracy of the final design. Thanks for taking the time to review this Inventor Tech Tip provided by Avatech Solutions. Additional tech tips are available at avatechsolutions.com.